Landmark, this is your April 2023 real estate market update. What sold according to MLS for single detached homes in the Landmark area? We are seeing that things have slowed down a little bit, Landmark. Um, other areas have really picked up not seeing the uptake and i'm not sure exactly why in landmark we're not seeing the uptake currently there's 19 homes on the market and zero that have sold out of those 19 homes 11 are um new builds eight of them are resale homes so um you figure there'd be a little bit more selling that and as you can see the whole way through we've only seen two homes sell um in the landmark area so a little interesting there and see what's going on um do you have any real estate related questions? I'd like to dive a little deeper into this, have some conversations about it. We'll look at March numbers because that's all we've really got right now. Uh, 468 was the average selling price of the two homes that sold. Uh, months of inventory would be well into a buyer's market no matter which way you look at it. But if you look at the city of Winnipeg or anywhere else like that, we're, we're, you know, you're only a half hour away from the city of Winnipeg and what's happening there should pull out into the landmark area too as well. The rent's been doing well also right next town over. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, city of Winnipeg because largest urban center uh, within a half hour. 455000 was the average sale price last May where it topped out and then downward trended all the way through the year until February of this year where it bottomed out at $375,000. After that, we saw an uptake in March to three hundred eighty-six, dollars and now 409000 in April. So I'm imagining we're going to see something pick up in the landmark area. It's curious to to see this uh, this type of numbers. Let's look at the previous five years and uh, take a look at it. So showing no data there. Four sixty eight average selling price in twenty twenty two. Four fifteen in twenty twenty one. Two ninety eight in twenty twenty, which is kind of we're seeing that in a lot of areas where it dropped down, kind of the start of the great pause there, and then you know as the year went on, it jumped up considerably in three nineteen after that. If we'd love to chat with you, love to dive deeper into the real estate market. If you're a buyer or seller, we pull about a year's worth of data in Landmark to go over it. Sometimes month by month isn't enough, but I thought it'd be fun to do this uh, this project um, one month by one month. Landmark's about the only place. Uh, Landmark, New Bothwell as well. We're not seeing that many uh, that many sales going on there, but everywhere else uh, sales are doing well. It will pick up here too. And uh, hey, there's only three reasons a home doesn't sell. And um, one is that uh, there's something wrong with it. Two, that it's not marketed properly. Or three, it's overpriced. And maybe we've just got some homes that are overpriced. Like I said, I'd like to dive a little deeper into it. I will uh, check out what the numbers look like next month. Have a great day.